Well, you've heard of the movie Five Feet Apart. So the film shows the problem two cystic fibrosis patients face when they want to become more than just friends. Our Marilyn Dart introduces us to a Portland teen living with the disease and his reaction to the movie. Just one foot closer. Technically, CF patients are supposed to stay six feet apart. But in this movie, patients Stella and Will push the limits. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> Your eyes like double open, right? It caught my attention, yeah. This movie isn't just a Hollywood sensation. It's 15-year-old Juan Zamora's reality. Take my meds, start treatments, eat, take more meds. Throughout the day, Zamora has to repeat treatments, which can take hours. It is hard sometimes. I mean, you can't always do whatever you want with your friends. His mother, Jennifer, says this is their family's normal. It's just like any other kid brushing your teeth or taking a shower, just what you have to do. Juan can do normal things like fishing with his friends, but no matter how many friends he has, he cannot be anywhere near people who relate to him most, other patients with cystic fibrosis. They're the only ones who can truly identify and understand each other. but. You know, there are people who are experiencing the same thing you are. Dr. Santiago and Colada says luckily there have been strides in CF treatment and even bigger leaps with a movie showing what the illness is like. It showcases the fact that it's not that your lungs get sick and that's it, it's the fact that everything in your life changes. Juan and his mother say it's the first time Hollywood is shedding light on a lonesome disease. Very exciting. But I mean, at least it's getting that awareness out and so people can halfway understand. In the meantime, Juan will continue with his normal, accepting the cards he's been dealt and keeping the people who love him closer than an arm's reach away. Why did God put me here? But then I remember he put me here for a reason. I have a job, so I just kind of get over it and I accept that that's what, it's what I have, so I'll deal with it. Madeline Dart, 3 News.